And now the starting lineups for the GET Red Hawks. And number 10, Mason Wrong. Junior, number 13, Jack Beal. Junior, number 23, Cody Smith. Junior, number 24, Brayden Anibus. And Junior, number 42, Carter Whipball. Whipball. All right, the head coach for Gale to Trempolo is Jared McCutcheon. Head coach for Elk Mountain, Chris Hahn. We'll wait for the band to file up before we play this game. GET in their red road uniforms with the blue numbers, white outline, and Elk Mountain in their home whites with the orange numbers, black outline. This regional final is, will be underway. The winner will take on either Wisconsin Dales or West Salem next week in the sectional semifinals. Schmitz and Wenzel tip off, and Elk Mountain's won the tip off. Started right time, 7 p.m. Wenzel inside, basket scored in the foul. That's going on Carter Repaul. Repaul gets called for the foul. The free throw is off the back iron. Wenzel gets it back. Bartik driving. Knutson, Russo. Saved there by Knutson to Russo. Here's Bartig. Tripping foul ready on Cody Smith, his first. That's his first foul. This should be a close, a lot closer game. This should be a lot, this should be a closer game like that first one. And a good steal there by Beto. This is the Red Hawks' first offensive possession. Players keep an eye on for Elk Mountain is Wenzo and Russo and Bartig for GET. It's Schmidt and Anibis to keep an eye on. The travel called on Repaul. Two nothing here as we are a minute into this first half of this regional final. Caden Russo, Ryan Bartig. Wenzel underneath the basket. He's gonna have to pass it back. Ryan Bartig, top of the key three is miss. Schmitz rebound rebounds. And that was Brown. Here's Cody Schmitz gets stripped there by Wenzo or Bartig. Ryan Bartig, three by Russo. And Russo was only held to five points last night. Let's see, I think he'll have a better game here tonight. Elk Mountain trying to exercise their demons. They have not beaten GT. And the three is by Anibis. He is leaving, leaving off where he left off against Elk Mountain last month. He had 20 against Elk Mountain back on February 13th at this gym. They both play zone defenses. GT's the sixth seed, Elk Mountain's the two seed. Bartig got stripped there by Beto. To tie it, and a foul by Wenzo.
Red talks with the ball. This is Brown. Animus in the corner. Tries to get around Bartholomew. Reach in on Bartholomew or Bartig. You gotta get on Bartholomew is first. Team second. Cody Smith's the tight, he does. And they see last touch by Bartig. <clears throat> And now the Red Hawks looking for their first lead. It's 5-5. Three minutes into the first half. Here's to Mason Brown. Jack Beto. Cody Smith for three. That is missed. Off a rebound by Anibis. Smith will drive inside for the lead. He's got it. Cody Smith has four. 7-0 run by the Red Hawks. That's Brown's first. Both these teams play 1-3-1 one, one zones. KO short. Bartholomew gets it. Three by Knutson is way off the mark. Wenzel rebounds. Ties the game. Wenzel's got four. Schmidt for three. Got it again. Cody Schmidt has seven. Knutson, Bartig. Not a good pass there. They call it a jump ball, go to Red Hawks ball. Logan Jerome comes in. Driving his Beto. Anibis from the corner again. He throws it back. Beto will drive to the paint. The three, Anibis makes his second. It's a 13 to two run. Wenzel lost it, stripped it by Brown. Cody Schmitz will lay it in. It's a 15 2 run. Knutson, that is short. Red Hawks on a roll here. makes the three. Russo's okay. got six points, lead down to five. Okay. Here's Cody Schmitz driving, another basket, yes sir. He's up to 11. Yeah. 
Nice steal there. Schmitz is gonna fouls called on Barty. Schmitz to the line for two. He's already up to 12 here in this first half. We're not even halfway through this half. Timeout Oak Mound. It is gonna be a 30 second timeout. It's 18 to 10, Cody Schmitz already has 12 in this one. Keaton Russo's a high score for Oak Mound of six. The GT Redhawks on an 18 to five run. Here's Spitch's uh, second free throw coming up. And he's up to 13. <laughs> 19 to 10 is the score. So far, Oakland has no answer for this defense of the Red Hawks. Trying to figure them out here. <clears throat> to force it and it's tipped away there by Brown. It's 19-10, it's a 19-5 run for the GET Redhawks. Cody Schmitz, Beto gets a screen. Brown for three and he's short. Offensive rebound by Ree Paul. Runner in the lane is missed by Brown. The putback Repaul misses. Eden Bartholomew with it. Winzo has to throw it back. Russo to Bartig. Eddie's got a three. Under 10 left here in the half. GET up six. And again, Cody Schmitz misses it. Russo rebounds. As I said, this should be a fun close game. Jerome fakes out, Anabis, that's an NBA three from Russo, in and out. Bartholomew rebounds, the putback is short. Repaul with the rebound. They had some good looks, just not been able to fall so far. Cody Schmitz, watch that matchup between Schmitz and Jerome. And a three is missed by Beto. We are halfway through the first half. 1913, Gale with your Bartig. Bartholomew in and out in the three. Another rebound for Beto. It's actually Cody Schmitz had the rebound. in by Cody Schmitz. He has 15. Twenty-one 
Yeah. That was tipped, somehow saved. It back off the back iron for Bartek Schmidt's rebounds. Beto driving, got called, traveling. So Cody Spitz has 15 of the 21 points for GET. Bartig to Bartholomew. Knutson is open for three and he does not make it. Put back by Jerome misses. Second try and a foul on Schmitz. And that's gonna be his second if that is. And it is on Schmitz, his second. Jerome to the line. He's on the board. Two for two for Jerome. 21-15. So Cody Schmitz has to be careful here not to pick up his third foul. And as, as I said, both these teams do both play a 1-3-1 one -one zone. Wide open three, Brown hits it. <laughs> That's a fourth May three of the night. Fakes out the defender. Jerome answers for his own three. We got ourselves a good game here. Beetle's got the ball. He's going to drive. Batik to Brone. He's a freshman. Beetle, top of the key three. No. Beetle gets it to Brone. Good pass. Green Paul. Carter Repaul for first basket. Those well, second chance points have given the Red Hawks the lead here. To Rome, but uh, and Wenzel too strong. Cody Schmitz gets it. And that three's good again by Schmitz. He's up to 18. Off the mark for Jerome. Wenzel touched it last. No. We'll see Mounder's ball. Here's to Bartig. By the way, the Red Hawks have five made threes. That three is missed by Rousseau. Jerome rebounds. Knutson is short. Wenzel the putback. Five twelve to go in the half. GT leads it by nine. Thrown again from the corner, and he hits another one. That's their six made three of this first half. And Knutson hits a three. Oh boy. That's their fifth made three. 32 to 23. It's been raining threes here in this first half. Grona Getty's open. And another one!
That's a seven may three, that's Brown's third. Alley oop is short for Logan Jerome. Rebound by Anibis. Under four left, Schmidt again, and he's up to 21. GG timeout. Twenty-one points for Cody Schmidt. It's a full timeout for the Red Hawks. They're up by 15. GET's biggest lead of the night. GET's eighth made three of this half. And Cody Schmitz has 21 of the 38 points. Called on Wenzo, that's his second. Grant Miller gets his first playing time here tonight. Like to see what the what Miller can do here. Brown, right to Beto again. It's Anapis for the three. That's their ninth me three, and they're up 18. Martin puts it up, does not go in. Foul from behind. Could go on Brown. That's Brown second. The official's going to have a discussion. Over the inbound. Knutson is short. Put back by Jerome is good. 41-25, GET. Cody Spitz driving to the paint and will lay short. Stepped out actually. Beto stepped out. Jerome to Coop Russo. One through one zone by GET. And Russo's off the mark. Ruler rebounds. Got rejected, but a foul on Anibis. That's Anibis' first. Oh, 
No fouls left to give for the Red Hawks. Does not make it. <laughs> Two for four so far. The good news is Elkman's got half time to, to make some adjustments. You're getting killed on the threes. Nine threes made by GET. Mueller makes one of two. 41-26. Brown, Schmidt. Open for Beto. Oh, missed by Beto, but he'll get two free throws. That's going on Bartig is second. Fouls on the three, Ryan Bartig is his second foul. Beto makes the first. He's on the board. 42 to 26. Red Hawks three for three at the line. Here comes number one, Siling. In for GDT, number one, Kyle Siling. Two for two for Beto. Up to 17. Wendell Russo. Wendell lose the ball. That might have affected a shot, and it did. Repaw rebounds. Traveling called. 90 seconds left before halftime. Here comes Corcoran. Bartig to Russo. Back to Russo. Three by Bartig is good. They're battling back in this one, down to 14. One minute left in the half. In trouble is Siling. Timeout, Elk, no jump ball. Get a tie up from behind. It'll be Elk ball. Recall second. One and one. Takes up to seven, it's 43 to 30. Makes both 43 to 31. So it's still, there's another half to go, but they're gonna have to make some adjustments. GET has made nine threes, looking for their 10th made three of the first half. And Cody Schmidt still has 21 points. Schmidt gets with the double team. Here's Brown. Red Hawks throwing it for the final shot. Anabis. Brown. Draws 
it up and a miss. No. Schmidt at the buzzer. He's got it. 23 for Cody Schmidt. 45 to 31. We'll be back in 10 minutes. GT leads it. the audio. Is it working? <laughs> Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three.
one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Testing. And we are back on Mounter TV. GET leads Elk Mound 45 31 as we start the second half.
Hawks get the ball first. Jack Beadle inbound to Brown. We'll see if Elkhorn has made any adjustments here. They've been burned by the three, giving up nine and nine made. Shift here by Bartholomew, Red Hawks ball. Jack Beetle with the ball, going inside. Here's another three, Cody Schmitz again. It's up to 26. Foul called on GT, going on Beetle. That is his first. That's GET's 10th made three of the night. Wenzel's trying. Another missed free throw. They are 5 of 8. Wenzel makes one of two, he's got seven. Another three's missed. Smith missed it. And Anibis picks up the foul. That is his second. That's the second. 48 to 32, GET on top. Russo tripped Bartig. Bartholomew's trapped in the corner. Knutson, Russo. And Russo off the back iron. Bartholomew rebounds. Another opportunity. Bartig, no. Russo, put back is good. Lead down to 14. Anibis lost it. Last touch by Bartholomew. Stripped it out. Bartholomew stripped it from Anibis. Red Hawks ball. Brown has the ball. Guarded by Knutson. Beto looking for Anibis, and Anibis has another three. His fourth made three is up to 12. That's a Red Hawks' 11th made three of this game. Schmitz takes it away, and he's going to dunk it. Timeout, Bounders. It's a full. He's up to 27 now, Cody Schmitz is. It leads up to 19 or 16 minutes left. GT has won five straight meetings against Elk Mound since the 2015-16 season. Looking to make it six here. Not really sure, but I think GT's last regional title was 2018. But this is GT's biggest lead of the night, 19 point lead, under 16 minutes to go. And as we said in sports, no lead is safe. That was a 
Not a good pass there. Schmidt again, he dunks it. Now up 21. Stolen by Brown. Redhawks trying to pull away here. Cody Spitz, who's got 29, looking for 31. No. Foul is on Paul, his third. And uh, Murphy, that's his third. But good defense there by Brown. Brown, Cody Schmitz. Here's Braden Anabis. Brown, Beto, Cody Schmitz, and another one. 33 for Cody Schmitz. Lead is growing to 24. Fourteen to three run. Oh, Knutson off guard in that shot. Wenzel to put back. Wenzel's up to nine. I don't think I've ever seen Oakbound come back from a 20 plus de point deficit to win a game. We'll see if it happens tonight. Ray Paul with the basket. He's up to four. 60 to 36. It's a bounders timeout. It's a 30 second. They'll have two fulls left. What a night for Cody Schmitz. He's up to 33. He has 10 points here in the second half. Sam Wenzo is the leading scorer for the Bounders with nine. This is uh, GET's biggest lead of the night, 24 point lead, 60 to 36. Russo drives into the paint to Wenzo, rejected by Repaul, and P picks up his four. <laughs> to the line will be uh, Sam Wenzo. That'll bring in number one, Kyle Siling. Oh, gets in there. He's up to 10. Siling returns. Got 11. Back down to 22. Over 13 and a half minutes left. Knut's in guarding Brown. Now Brown is going to drive. Go back off, back to the top of the key. Brown to Anibis. Beto, Cody Schmidt. Schmidt's 
Schmitz against Jerome. Here's to Brown, who is only a freshman. He's got three years left of his career. Here's Schmitz. Here's Brown. Three for Schmitz and rims out. Russo rebounds. Bartig all the way down to Knutson. Uh, three short. Last touch by the Mounders. Red Hawks ball, 12.25 left. GET's got two fulls and two and 30 second timeouts left. Mounders only have two full timeouts left. 60 to 38. Red Hawks has just got to keep their foot on the pedal here. As we see in sports, no lead is safe. As Brone drives, that was to Siling back to Brone. Reach in on Knutson. That's his first. Nice pass and the dunk by Schmitz and the foul. 35 for Cody Schmitz. Sixty-two to thirty-eight. Trying to get to thirty-six here. He does. Bartholomew trapped in the corner to Winzo, guarded by Beto. Jerome, Russo. Four two, Russo missed it. Getting the ball is, and it'll be Mounders ball. Here's Bartig with it. To Russo. GT's up 25, their biggest lead of the night. Bartholomew saves it. Russo to Bartig. Jerome's got to put it up, and he misses it. And Jerome is hurt. Jerome is down. They're going to get Anibis. Uh, Schmitz with a foul. Was it Dan? It's on 13, actually. Beto. But Jerome is up. That's Beto's second. Trying to gather him, scatter himself here. To the line is Logan Jerome. Trying to catch his breath here. He landed hard on the floor. Oh. And they're going to wipe the floor. Ten fifty-two to go in this regional final. The Red Hawks are leading by 25, 63 to 38. As I said earlier in the broadcast, the winner of this game either takes on Wisconsin Dells or West Salem in next week's sectional semifinals. In and out for Jerome on the first. And GET lost both the meetings to West Salem.
Logan Jerome makes one of two, he's got eight, and here comes Knutson back in. Hopefully Jerome will be okay. Be down to 24, uh, yep, uh, 26 actually. Uh, yep, 24. With 10.50 to go. But Elkbound's gonna need some stops. Cody Schmitz, who's on fire tonight, and the basket's good, 38 points. He's got 39, starting to run out of room for him on the scorecard, on the scorebook. Sixty-six to thirty-nine, lead up to twenty-seven. Their biggest lead of the night. Second matchup is just a mismatch and a steal by Anabis. Schmitz gets to forty-one. Lead up to twenty-nine. And Schmidt again at the steal and gonna dunk it for the lays it in actually. 43 for Schmidt. I'm starting to run out of room in the scorecard. Red Hawks, Mounters timeout. And the lead is up to 39, 70 to 39. Uh, actually 41 actually, a 31 lead point lead actually. 70 to 39. A 31 point lead. 9.53 to go. Forty four. Forty three points for Cody Schmitz tonight. He has more than half of the GET's points. Honestly, I don't know if there's any more answers. I mean, you guys are so low out. So, no matter what, the Elk Hunt should be proud of your season. Best basketball right Another steal. It's been that kind of night. This is just a great night for the Red Hawks. You got to give them credit. <laughs> Cody Schmitz. And that was to 13 Beto. 70 to 39, up 31, the Red Hawks' biggest lead of the night. They're just nine points away from the running clock. So far, the Mounders have only scored eight here in the second half. We're getting outscored here 25 to eight here in the second half. The Red Hawks has just been dominant tonight. And they play a lot better than what their 14 and 12 record says. Red Hawks in control. No matter what, the Mountains have had a great season this year. Halfway through the second half, Schmitz from the corner of the lane missed it. Three by Knutson, no. Mueller rebounds, driving on Beto. And a basket by Mueller. Beto tried to draw, draw, draw a charge, but the refs were not taking the bait. 70 to 41, lead back down to 29.
Cody Schmitz knocked away by Bartek. Anibis couldn't save it. Mounters ball. Grant Mueller, short. Red Hawks couldn't get it. Wenzo got it. Reverse layup is good. And the official, a foul called. Delay of game called on Elk Mound. It's a delay of game warning. Sam Wenzo is up to 11. Actually, no, up to 13. Eight minutes left. Knutson picks up his second foul. That's the team's third. <laughs> Laying it in, Cody Schmitz missed it. Knutson spins around. He just de de deflected away by the Red Hawks. Here's Bartig. One through one zone by the Red Hawks. Three by Bartig. Off the back iron. Smith rebounds. And off on the press break. Rejected by Bartig. <laughs> Beetle inbound. Here's the prone. Mason Brown tries to get around Knutson. Here's the Beto. Back to Brown. Brown will drive. He backs it out to Cody Schmitz. Not that time. Seven minutes left. Bartik tipped away. Knutson. Three is good. Lead is down to 24. And GT needs to get back to playing good offense or else you don't want to blow a big lead here. Timeout GT, it's going to be a 30 second. A full actually. One full and two 30 seconds. That's Knutson's second made three. Regardless of the outcome tonight, I am wrapping up my 11th year at Mounder TV. We won't have any more live streams of Mounder Sports until the fall season. And on August 18th, that will be our first broadcast of the 2023 football season when Elkbound football hosts Spooner. Friday night, August 18th, 7 p.m. That's five months away. Still a long ways to go, with 6.35 to go. This lead was 31, it's a 7-0 run. So GET has to keep their foot in the gas or else they're gonna blow a big lead. <laughs> Beetle inbound. One full timeout left, two thirties left for GET. Here's the Mason Brown. Red Hawks looking for the sixth straight win over Elk Mound since the 2015-16 season. Beto, nice move to the basket, but he can't finish. Gets his own rebound. Knudsen. Up to Wenzo. Slams it down. So 
Dunley to lead us down to 22. And tipped away. Look out at the announcer's table. Three Paul has to come in. Remember, he has four fouls. Uh-oh, Brown gets it. This is unbelievable. This is a a 9-0 run. 5.42 to go. Schmitz to Brown. Brown drives, puts it up, and he blows it. Offensive rebound. Strip of the ball. Free Paul gets it back to Beto. Barte picks up his third. That's the team's fourth. Grand Bartholomew will pick up a foul. That's his second. Team's fifth. And one foul left to give. Here's Cody Schmitz driving to the basket. Good pass to Beto. Here's to Brown. Five minutes to go. 70 to 48. Leads down to 22. Good pass to Cody Schmitz. They call foul. I think it's on Wenzo, I believe, or Mueller. Don Wenzo, that's his third, his third. No fouls left to give. And that's a one and one, they're in the bonus. Another point for him. He's got 47 now. Another free throw for him. He's got 48, I believe. I'll have to recount. Got 48 points for Cody Schmitz. Foul gone. Call on Brown. 429 left. 72 to 48. That's Brown's third. Five points actually for Cody Schmitz. Knutson misses the three, so my correction, 45 for Schmitz. Ray Paul with the pass here. 74 to 48. Wenzo. Basket is uh, missed. The next kind of night here. Under three, four minutes to go, GT pull, looking to pull away and win a regional title for the first time in five, I believe, 2018. I'm not really sure, but I have to check. Mason Brown. Anibus, three is short. Mueller rebounds. Russo to Wenzo. Wenzo gets it. 
Knutson with the three is missed. Anibis rebounds. So you have 45 points. You have 45 points for Cody Schmitz here tonight. 12 for Braden Anibis. That's Knutson's third. Yeah, that's their eighth. Hey, yeah, Franchinski, I'm missing a foul for our fan. I only have two. Uh, seven. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of number 20. It is for a long I missed three so sorry. Two for two for Brown. He's up to 11. You're perfect at the free throw line. A perfect 10 for 10. 28 point lead. Russo for three and he will not make one. The Mounders are with 2.34 left are going to come up short, but they've had, they will have a great season though. They finished, they'll finish 20 and 6. The move there, charge called. <laughs> 76 to 40, but the Mounders should have, should be proud of themselves this season. 20 wins on the year. And they won the Dunstan Corritato outright with a perfect 14 and 0 conference record. But again, it's just, it's just something about GET that the that Elk Mountain runs into a brick wall every time. The first matchup was close. Tonight was not even close. Bartig trying to look for his final three of his career. Couldn't get it. And for those GET viewers, we're going to keep the camera, hopefully keep the camera on the, in the middle of the floor for the regional title plaque presentation. 150 left, 76 to 48. Stolen by Wenzo, it's a, and it's a jump ball again. And it will go to the Mounders. Our players of the game, we're going to give it to Sam Wenzo, who will finish with 15 points. And the player of the game for GET, Cody Schmitz, 45 points. Brian Bartig will finish of eight. Bartholomew in his final game will have nothing, no points tonight. So we'd like to thank our seniors, Aiden Bartholomew, Brian Bartig, Jerome Delakowski, and their manager, Nate Sabine. They should be proud of themselves this season, a great season for them, a Dunsing Croix champions outright. Tonight they just run into a brick wall and the Cody Schmitz show. Here's Bryce, puts it up and it's missed. Reserves in as well, 32, Shane Kukorin. Corcoran. Kyle Siling. 15 is Brady Siling. In is Cameron Deermeyer, Brady Amble. Siling, Brady Siling misses the three. Good rebound there. The putback is good. Kyle Siling. The Cody Schmitz will finish at 45. Three is missed there by Besco. Lead is up to 30, 78-48. So this is our last broadcast of the season. I'll see you in the fall for football and volleyball. Wrapping up my 11th year calling Mounders basketball game. So thanks to all of the viewers for tuning in this season. Good reverse layup by Brady Siling. The Siling. Lucas Johnson will come in. Wenzel will finish with uh, 15. Knutson will finish with three. And Kane Russo finishes with eight.
Brady Nanabis. 80 to 48. Bryce. Nope. Good rebound. Hopefully to keep our cameras on for the plaque presentation for the Red Hawks. This will be the sixth win in a row over the Mounders for GET. They've just had their numbers since the 2015-16 season when they in, when in 2016 they beat them badly 85-21. 80 to 48 is the final. The Red Hawks are the regional champions. They will take on West Salem or the Dells next week. So this is Chang Lor saying good night and have a great rest of your off season. It's now time for the plaque presentation. Send record for the presentation of the regional championship plaque. Would a representative from Gale Extra Treble basketball team please come up and receive your regional championship plaque? Thursday evening in the sectional semifinal game. Please drive home safely.